Hello everyone, you are welcome. Today we have a very interesting algebra math problem which is x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 4 is equal to 120. So here we will try to find out the value of x and all possible solutions of this algebra math problem. So let's start our solution. First of all, you get to the left hand side here. The sum of 1 plus 4 is 5 and 2 plus 3 is 5. So therefore, we'll combine these two expressions and these two expressions. So this left-hand side will become, this will become, this implies, this will become x plus 1 times x plus 4 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 is equal to 120. So let's multiply the expression inside the braces. So this will become, this implies, this will become x times x is simply x squared plus 4x plus x plus 4 times. Let's multiply these expressions. So x times x is x squared plus 3x plus 2x plus 2 times 3 is 6 is equal to 120. So let's further simplify the expression in the left hand side. So this will become, this is x squared plus 4x plus 6 is 5x plus 4 times this will become, this is x squared plus 5x plus, here we can write this 6 as this is 4 plus 2 is equal to 120. We look to these two expressions here in these two expression this x square plus 5 x plus 4 is common in both the expression in the left hand side so here we will make some suppositions so let us suppose let us suppose this x square plus 5 x plus 4 is equal to another variable let us suppose this is a so here this equation will become this will become this is a times a plus 2 is equal to 120. So let's solve this equation for the value of s. So we come a times a is a square plus 2a and this will become this is negative 120 is equal to 0. Here we have to solve this quadratic equation. So here we can solve this quadratic equation by factorization method. So therefore we can write this as this is a square plus 2a can be written as this is 12a minus 10a minus 120 is equal to 0. In the, in the first two terms, this a is common. So let us take out a common. This will become a plus 12. And in these two terms, this negative 10 is common. So taking a negative 10 common, this will become a plus this will become 12 is equal to 0. Here in these two terms, this a plus 12 is common. Now let us take out a plus 12 common. So taking a plus 12 common, this will become a minus 10 is equal to 0. Here the product of these two expression is 0. So here either this expression will be 0 or this one will be 0. So from here we will get a minus 10 is equal to 0 or a plus 12 is equal to 0. So here we will replace back a with its expression that is a is equal to x square plus 5x plus 4. So this will become this will become a is simply x square plus 5x plus 4 minus 10 is equal to 0. So let's solve this equation for the value of x. So this will become this is x square plus 5x for minus 10 is simply minus 6 is equal to 0. Here we can solve this quadratic equation by factorization method. So therefore we can write this as x square plus 5x is 6x minus x minus 6 is 0. So there is x common. So taking x common this will become x plus 6. There is negative 1 common. So taking negative 1 common this will become x plus 6 is equal to 0. So there is x plus 6 common so taking x plus 6 common this will become x minus 1 
is equal to zero. Here again, the product of these two expression is zero. So here, either this expression will be zero or this one will be zero. So from here, we will get x minus one is zero or x plus six is equal to zero. So this will become x is equal to positive one, and this will become x is equal to negative six. So here we have two real values of x. Dates of x is equal to one and negative six. So here in the first quadratic equation we got the two real values of x, one and negative six. Now we'll try to solve this one equation for the value of a or x. So first here we'll replace a by this expression in the verse of position. So this will become here our a is x square plus 5x plus 4 plus 12 is equal to 0. So this will become this is x square plus 5x 4 plus 12 is simply 16 is equal to 0. Now here we cannot solve this quadratic equation by factorization methods. Here we will use the quadratic formula. So for that here the value of a is 1, b is 5 and c is 16. So the quadratic formula is x is equal to that is negative b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So let's substitute the value of abc from here. So this will become b is 5. So this will become negative 5 plus minus square root of this will become 5 square minus 4. The value of a is 1 and the value of c is 16 divided by 2 and the value of a is 1. So further this will become this is negative 5 plus minus square root of 5 square is 25 minus 4 times minus 4. 4 times 16 is 64 divided by 2 times minus 2. So further this will become this is negative 5 plus minus this will become square root of 25 minus 64 it is about negative 39. But negative 39 is same as 39 times negative 1 divided by 2. So the final value of x will become that is minus 5 plus minus this will become square root of 39 and square root of negative 1 is a complex identity i divided by 2. So here we have two complex values of x one is positive and one is negative. So finally we have four possible values of x two are real and two are complex. Now we will try to verify the real values of x that is x is equal to 1 and negative 6 are the exact and correct value of x in this interesting algebra problem or not. So we will verify these values here. So first we will try to verify x is equal to 1. So let's verify x is equal to 1. So we'll substitute x is equal to 1 here in the left hand side. So substituting 1 here it will become this will become 1 plus 1 2 this will become 3 this will become 4 this will become 5 so therefore that equation will become that is the first expression will become 1 plus 1 that is 2 second will become 3 the third will become 4 and the last one will become 5 is equal to 120 we have 5 times 4 is 20 20 times 3 is 60 60 times 2 is 120 so this will become 120 is equal to 120. Both sides are equal. So it means that x is equal to 1. Verify the problem, the equation. Now we will try to verify x is equal to negative 6. So substituting x is equal to negative 6 here in the left hand side. This will become negative 6 plus 1, negative 6 plus 2. So therefore this equation will become. Now we will try to verify x is equal to negative 6. So our equation will become. This will become negative 6 plus 1 times negative 6 plus 2 times negative 6 plus 3 times negative 6 plus 4 is equal to 120. So to simplify this one equation, so this is this will become minus 5 times this will become minus 4 times this will become minus 3 times this will become minus 2 is equal to 120 so negative time negative is positive 
and negative time negative is positive so positive time positive is positive so it will become so become 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 and here we can write 1 as so this will become 120 and here 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is it is simply 5 pictorial is equal to 120 and we know that 5 pictorial it is simply 120 is equal to 120 the here both sides are equal so it means that x is equal to negative 6 is also the exact and correct value of x and last don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting and step-by-step -step math solutions thanks for watching